I just got done with the Ultra Ball difficulty for this Challenge Cup, and I absolutely, completely destroyed everybody. It was way easier than Great Ball. So I'd imagine my luck's about to run out right now. Let's see what team I get. Let's see what I'm up against. You know, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. We have Golduck, who knows Stab Waterfall. That's cool. Dawn Fan, he knows Earthquake, thank God. Rapidash knows Fire Blast, nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay, I like what I'm seeing. Okay, now I know at the end of the day, these Pokemon all kind of suck, but the enemy Pokemon are going to kind of suck too. So this person, they have three bugs and, um... Oh, they don't have Scizor, but they have Scyther. Two flying types, so that means Aerodactyl's showing up here. Yeah, they they have a whole... All, all six of their Pokemon are weak to rock. I might even bring Dawnfan. Um... Nah, I'm not really trusting Rollout. I'll just spam Fire Blast a million times. We're not bringing Meganium. Maybe Ampharos... Um, what's, uh, hmm, okay, so Ampharos is very slow, but it has very high special attack. I should probably check my items. You have a Paralyzed Cure Berry, Miracle Berry, I have no idea what that does. Mystery Berry, no idea what that does. Hardstone boosts my rock moves. Miracle Seed boosts my grass moves. Thunder Punch Berry, okay, so... Okay, this team isn't as horrible as I thought it would be. Pokemon Tournament Challenge Cup Master Ball. The opening blows are about to be exchanged in a furious battle between level 75 Pokemon. Now, I just hope that this Flareon doesn't burn me with, I'm guessing, whatever fire move it wants to go for. So I should be able to just spam Ancient Power and I should be okay. Give me an Omni Boost. What? They just died in one hit? What? Oh, by the way, I've never seen Omni Boost happen in this game before with Ancient Power. Uh, Heracross is actually even worse. Because uh, this is one of the few times where flying is a good offensive type attack. A critical hit. Was that even necessary? Oh no, it fainted just like that. Okay, Aerodactyl kind of going on a rampage right now. Oh my god. Another Pokemon that's four times weak to an attack. Oh my god, what did we learn today, people? We learned that if we can bring Aerodactyl with no real consequences, we're going to. I can't believe they made Aerodactyl, I don't want to say good, but for a Pokemon Stadium rental, that's not too bad. It has two stab attacks and it's super fast. And they gave me a hard stone on top of that. Nice. Okay. Uh, so these are the people I fought in the Great Ball Tournament. I had, I had some problems in that one, so... Oh, that's why I'm a little worried. Yeah, this is the guy that has a bunch of rock ground types, I guess. Before it was rock, now they have... Um, is Steelix? Steelix is steel, but is it part rock or ground? Because I could have sworn it was like... I don't know. I think it was rock and then they changed it to ground or something weird like that. Well, in any case, I'm bringing Meganium. Uh, not Meganium, I'm bringing Golduck. Well, hell, I'll bring Meganium too. Why not? And then maybe Dawnfan? Or maybe Rapidash? Um, I'll bring Dawnfan. This should be an easy win. A lot of bad things would have to happen to me for me to lose this. Okay, now the question is, who is faster? 
I want to believe that I'm faster. Let's see if I'm right. I am not, but he went for Thrash, so that's not going to do too much. Yeah, that that did do a little damage. Can Waterfall make you flinch? Hits with a blow, packing the power of fish traveling up waterfalls. Um, that leads me to believe that's probably not going to flinch anybody. Good job, Golduck. Nido King was actually one of their more problematic Pokemon, but they didn't have Earthquake. Now, if you bring in Rhydon on my Golduck, that means you're in trouble. That means your last Pokemon has absolutely no shot at survival. What? That's ridiculous! Yep, Golem. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's it's over. Yep, another easy battle. Not as easy as the last one, though. Yep, I actually had to take two hits from Nido King before I killed everybody. I remember the fourth trainer gave me problems. Okay, this this guy has to have water types. Oh yeah, he's got five water types and a pincer. Uh, I have, uh, oh cool, I've got a, an electric and grass type Pokemon. So I'll start with uh, Ampharos. And then we'll use Meganium. I'm going with Ampharos first in case Lapras or Cloyster comes out. And now I just need somebody... Uh, honestly, I'm. Th uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of Aerodactyl, at which I know sounds stupid, but like, well, three of my Pokemon lose to Water types. I guess I could just bring Golduck to play it safe. No, I'm bringing Aerodactyl. <laughs> Remember, I said, it, as long as there's not too many consequences, we have to bring Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl's way too strong, man. That is an interesting animation and cry. First up is Polyrath. Now, the cool thing with Ampharos is I can just, um, click Thunder Punch the whole entire time. Yeah, here's the stinky thing. Ampharos is really slow. I might go into Meganium next turn, I'll actually. Hmm. You're gonna outspeed me. I, yeah, I'll go into Meganium. This Hydro Pump shouldn't do much. Look at that. They say Meganium is the worst starter ever. Clearly not. I just ate that up for breakfast. What? I'm faster? Oh, okay. Well, your Polyrath's dead. I have the, uh, the whatever it's called. The, the thing that boosts my grass moves. Miracle Seed, maybe? I don't know. But, uh, their team is not happy to see this Meganium. Whoa, you don't- you didn't go for Pinsir, so that means that you don't have Pinsir. I might be faster. Oh, yeah, I am. Let's see how much damage I do with this. Hmm, a little shy of a two-hit. Icy Wind? Okay, I mean, it wasn't Ice Beam or Blizzard, so... 
That shouldn't be too bad. Okay, they got a crit, so I changed my mind. That is really bad. Hmm. Well, I should live with like 20 health or so. Oh, okay, they missed. Nice. Well, I definitely don't have to worry about getting KO'd this turn. Oh, their last Pokemon's probably like nice miss. They missed two icy wins in a row. It's probably like Ammonite or Kabutops because they're four times weak to grass. Is this for real? There's only one Pokemon left to come up. Oh, it is Amistar. Uh, I think I'm gonna one hit you right now, my friend. What's this? That did nothing, actually. Yeah, Amistar doesn't have any HP. That was an eye opener. Look at that, guys. McGannion went on an absolute certified rampage. I blew it off to refine my skills by battling my shipmates. Okay, I remember this person used attract a lot and I really hated it. Yep, this is the girl. You're gonna regret that, okay. What? These are not exactly Pokemon that I'd want to be attracted to. I'm looking at you, Ursa Ring. Okay, we have three normal types, two fighting types, and a dark type. So if I had a fighting Pokemon on my team, that wouldn't be too bad. Oh, I don't. Okay, um... What's the next best idea? Maybe Aerodactyl for this, because... Yeah! Yeah, Aerodactyl's looking pretty good. But I don't think I'm gonna lead with them. Uh, they have this disgusting Blissey, so I'm trying to... Yeah, I'm gonna bring Dawnfan in literally just for this Blissey. If they if they have, um... Hollywrath... Okay, I don't know what I was going to say, but I had it thought out in my head. I just didn't know how to say it. But I think I picked Dawnfan, Aerodactyl, and Meganium. Ursaring. I'm pretty sure Ursaring has like a billion attack. Well, let's see how much my Earthquake does. Oh, I'm faster. Perfect. Hopefully this is a two-hit kill. Nice, 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 nice. Thrash. Oh, I should eat that up. Yep, even though it has a billion attack, uh, Dawnfan has a billion defense. Well, she's not using... Oh, wait, wait. Maybe she does have a track, but we're both males, so it doesn't work. Down goes the big scary Ursaring. Wow, you meanie. Interesting. I don't think I really have a Pokemon that can effectively... No, I can't. Nobody can really kill Umbreon, and Umbreon is like one of the tankiest Pokemon in Gen 2. I'm just gonna spam a million Earthquakes and see what happens. You know, that did more than I thought it would, so I'm, I'm happy with that. It's not a two-hit kill, but it's good enough for me. My god, that did no damage to me. Nice. That shouldn't do anything. 
Okay. Well, if Umbreon came in on the Dawn Fan, who's your last Pokemon? I didn't think Dawn Fan would do this good. I didn't. I don't really like that Umbreon's cry in this game. Can't wait to hear Espeon eventually. Angus Khan? Um. I guess I could try and get the 3 0. I don't. Sure, I'll go an Aerodactyl. I'm not entirely sure if I can live a hit from this Kangas Khan. It went for Attract! Oh no! I should've just stayed and went for Earthquake. Yep, so... Oh no, all my Pokémon are male. Oh dear god, is this the beginning of the end? Yep, I'm attracted. Strength, that shouldn't do too much. Oh, that did nothing, okay. <laughs> We should be okay. I just have to not get attracted a million times. Nice, nice. Breaking through. Oh, that was weak. That should do like another 80 or so. You know what? I think I'm going to switch to Meganium right now. This way when they go for Attract, I'll have an opportunity to switch back into Aerodactyl and get a free Ancient Power off without being attracted. Hmm. Okay, that didn't do too much, but that is going to take me out in four hits. Yep, here comes the attract. Yes. I think this should kill. I remember Kangaskhan Gen 1 had horrible special. It, it lived. Oh my god, this is so embarrassing. Well, I'll tell you what, I don't feel like wasting a potential another turn on me getting attracted, so I'm just gonna... Switch right into Aerodactyl, eat up this strength for breakfast, and take you out of the ancient power. How's that sound? What impact will it have? I'm gonna 3 0 them. Yeah, I don't know what happened in that Great Ball tournament. This opponent. This opponent was way harder. Once again, Aerodactyl came through to help us out. Although, Dawnfan definitely did the most work. For sure. I should have just stayed in, actually, with oh, with that uh, Kangaskhan the first turn. With my Dawnfan, just clicked Earthquake to see if I could at least hit it and then switch out. Alright, it's Mr. Officer Guy. The streets have been quiet, so I've had the time to thoroughly train my squad. How do you not have a Growlithe or Arcanine on this team? Okay, well, I've seen this guy in the Great Ball. His theme was, like, you know, pretty obvious. He has three fire types, three grass, so he's gonna have, like, solar beams, sunny day, that whole thing. So, we need... I'm gonna start with the Dawn Fan. And then I'll bring Rapidash for all three of their grass types. And then, um... Dude, you know what I just thought of? I could just bring... Uh, literally Aerodactyl. I- their whole team is weak to Aerodactyl. There's no way I'm gonna lose this battle. I was thinking of maybe leading with them, but, eh. I kinda like this idea of Dawn Fan more. Dawn Fan is, is, does more damage than Aerodactyl. 
So I don't have to worry about, like, this Typhlosion living. Like, it could probably live Ancient Power, but there's no way it's living in Earthquake. Oh, dear God, Fire Blast. This guy actually has good moves. Oof. I did a quite a bit of damage. Hey, uh, see, I didn't want to risk anybody getting burned, you know. Guys, he lived. He actually lived. Um. Honestly, I'm gonna go into Rapidash and eat up this Fire Blast, and Rapidash should be faster. I just didn't want to go to Aerodactyl because I don't want to risk getting burned. That would be really bad. What an opportunity! What an opportunity! Okay, headbutt. Ah, oh, quick attack. Man, this Typhlosion did a lot of damage to me. Well, um, should be okay. Let's see, it's probably gonna be a fire type. No, it's a Meganium. That means their last two are for sure grass types. Okay, let's see how much my Fire Blast does to you. Hmm, barely survived. <laughs> it set up a sunny day, are you kidding me? God, um, this might be silly. I, I just i am not feeling lucky. I feel like I'm gonna miss Fire Blast, so I'm gonna try and go for a Headbutt. And I think this will kill, maybe it'll flinch at worst. Oh, it, yeah, it killed. Nice. I mean, I wasn't afraid of, like, Solar Beam or anything, so that's why I did that. And the opponent literally set up a free sunny day for me. Oh, this makes sense, actually, because in Pokeball and Ultra Ball, this trainer is the fisherman who uses Rain Dance, but on Great Ball and Master Ball, they use Sunny Day. They alternate with the weather. Okay, this will for sure absolutely, without a doubt, kill you if it connects. I had to say if it connects, because you never know. But it did connect, so it's GG's. Dude, I didn't even need Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl had a stab, super effective attack on literally everyone on their team. And he didn't even have to show up to this battle. I still can't believe that Typhlosion lived the Earthquake. Like, literally that extra D... D I call it... I was about to call it a DB, whatever it's called. I don't know if they changed it to EVs now. I remember in Gen 1 it was something dumb like DBs. Whatever the term was. I can't beat my mother or the senior girls in our troop. Okay. Hmm. Um, interesting team. It's, it's just a well-rounded team. I don't know what this girl's gimmick is. Uh, it's, just, it's just six Pokemon that are just good. And their types uh, do not overlap with one another. They're all six unique Pokemon. So, I need to pick carefully. I think Dawnfan is good for about half their team. And then it's pretty bad for the other half. But you know who's good for the other half? Ampharos. Now, is Aerodactyl good here is the question. I, got, I can beat that Jinx, that Crobat, Flareon. Okay, I want to bring... Wait, wait, wait. I need to change this up. How about we start with Aerodactyl? That'll be you, you, you. And if you have... Okay, I'll bring Meganium for Golduck and Dawnfan. And then I can have, like, an extra flex pick. Which I'm thinking... I don't know... Everyone does okay here, I, I guess. I don't think I'm going to bring Ampharos after all. Um, maybe Golduck? Golduck's pretty safe. I mean, it's, it's good for their Dawn fan to resist Jinx. Good for Flareon. How fast is Golduck? 161. Ugh, nah, that's not too fast. 
Dude, Dawn Fan is 230 attack. I can't believe. I still can't believe that Typhlosion lived. Um, I don't know. They have it's like a rock, paper, scissors thing where they have somebody for this guy, but they don't have him for this guy. It's really just whoever I want to bring. So I'm bringing Aerodactyl Meganium. Now, who's going to be the last Pokemon? Let's bring Golduck. Leaving just eight to reach the quarterfinals. Yeah, I don't know why. This was the one Pokemon that I was kind of... I would rather have Dawn Fan for than uh, Ursaring. I mean, and then Aerodactyl. But I'm already here. I'll just stay in. I resist its normal type move. So let's just go for an Ancient Power. I've never gotten the Omni Boost. I don't think it's going to start now. But this will do decent damage. Okay, um... This guy knows rollouts? What? Dude, I definitely should have brought Dawn Fan. Okay, I, I'm, I'm gonna go to Meganium and start Mega Draining this thing. He could also miss. Yeah, that didn't do much. Oh, I'm faster. Nice. Give me your health. Uh, that didn't do too much, but it could have been a lot worse. Oh man, it's starting to do a lot of damage. Well, at least I can live this next rollout. What? I I have no idea how that scales. Hmm. Guess it doesn't really matter. Something was probably going to come in and outspeed Meganium anyway. You know, I want to go for stealing for the chance of raising my defense, but I really don't feel like missing. Yep, should have had Dawn Fan. Old Duck? Who's my- Oh, we lost the one Pokemon that was good against- against Golduck, so now I'm gonna switch out and go to my own Golduck and try to weaken this thing enough where Aerodactyl can take it out with an Ancient Power later and then hopefully finish off their last Pokemon. Oh man, this thing knows Hydro Pump! It missed, nice one. And its stats are definitely higher than mine, it has 10 more health, that is not good. But I do have strength so I can get decent damage on this thing slowly. And they have a chance of just missing in general. My god, that did so much. That did nothing, dude. Don't you lie to me. It's not very effective, I know. I kind of need you to miss a Hydro Pump. I don't think they're going to miss. Can I get a crit? I might lose if I don't... Uh... Yeah, I don't think Ancient Power from Aerodactyl will kill Golduck from where it's at right now. Wait, I might live the Swift attack they might have thrown. Yep, yep. Okay, well now I can definitely kill with Ancient Power. Cool. So Aerodactyl comes in, kills this guy. And then you have Crobat, Flareon. Oh, if you have Dawn Fan, I'm gonna lose. 
Oh, you know what? Oh, oh man, if they had Dawn fan, I'm gonna feel so stupid. Cause I could have just switched right there. Yeah, my my brain turned off. That was a bad play. I might lose now. I could have saved my gold duck for somebody that they might have in the back. Like their Dawn fan, for example. Never gotten the Omni Boost. Just one Pokemon remains. Flareon. Well, I mean, very first battle, I did one shot of Flareon, so it might happen again right now. No, this one is way stronger. It lived with 45 health. It gave. Oh my god, it landed a crit, but I I barely held on. Because Aerodactyl is what the kids would call a G. And just like that, we barely scraped by and won this battle. That was a close one. I almost totally threw this. <laughs> I like how they've thrown Flareon at us twice. We've seen Umbreon once, we haven't seen Vaporeon, Espeon, or Jolteon. It's like the game's way of saying that Flareon's the worst Pokemon. So we're gonna throw him at you first. Oh, why don't you just buff Flareon then? Okay, semi-final, uh, big, um, jump in power for sure. Yeah, uh, what am I looking at right now? It, lo it doesn't even look like we're in the same tournament anymore. These are all extremely strong Pokemon. Um, wow. Remember me bringing up that Scizor in the first battle, the guy that had the Scythe in Well, here's the Scizor. I think I should bring... Maybe Rapidash... Wait, wait, hold on. I, I remember my rule now. We have Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl's good for Machamp, Houndoom, and Executor. So, oh, oops. Okay. Um, let's don't don't do that. Uh, Dawn Fan's pretty good here too. Dawn Fan will. Well, I don't know for sure. I think it'll one-hit Gengar and Houndoom. That Starmie, I really, really don't like that Starmie at all. My. Oh, man. I think I'll start with Dawnfan. If they have Starmie, I could go into Meganium. But is Mag I don't think Meganium's good, though. Meganium loses to most of these Pokemon. It's a lot tankier than Ampharos. Oh man, but then they have- they're gonna have like Sludge Bomb and Bug Moves and Fire Moves and stuff. I think I should just stay away from Meganium. What about Golduck? Is Golduck any good here? Golduck's okay. It's mainly Executor and Starmie that I'm kind of dancing around right now. Because I really want to go in there with Dawnfan, Rapidash, Aerodactyl, and we can probably win decently well. But if they, if all they do is just simply pick Starmie, we're in big, big trouble. We'll probably lose the whole battle. That's why I'm thinking of Meganium. Or Ampharos. Oh man, this is, this is not fun. I think I need to pick, like, two Pokemon. Wait, okay, how about I start with Rapidash? If Executor or Scizor comes out, I'll just, you know, blow them up. If they have Gengar or Houndoom... I guess Aerodactyl can beat these guys, and then we'll bring Meganium literally just for the Starmie. God. 
though. They're 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 most annoying Pokemon is for sure, Starmie. Oh, they're playing uh, the music from the previous round eight. Okay, so I'm looking at Houndoom right now. So, um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay in and go for Headbutt. I don't think I can take this thing out with an Ancient Power, and then I'll switch an Aerodactyl and then and then do that. Oh, that did a lot. Double team. I hate you so much. Wait, this is the- Oh, that's right! Dude, no, no, I'm so dumb. This guy, we fought this guy in the Great Ball, and he used pretty much the same Pokemon he's using now, but they were unevolved. He had a Hound Tower that did this too. And I remember that thing had Solar Beam and Bite, so this one probably has Crunch. They're ready to go. Oh my god, dude. Yeah, they had him a choke. This guy has him a champ. They had, I think, Ghastly or maybe Haunter. Okay, well, this isn't great, but at least they didn't hurt me. That's what they did too. I had my Hound Tower in against their Hound Tower, and then they just, they just started doing a million double teams. But the good news is, all I have to do is just please hit just one of these things, and we'll be comfortably ahead in this battle. Nice. Goodbye. I hate that thing. What is this phenomenon? Shut up, you. Don't be Stormy. They have Stormy. Well, this is okay. You know why? Because I literally brought Meganium. If I didn't bring Meganium, we would lose this whole battle. I'm guessing that they're going for Surf. They might even be going for Hydro Pump. They could go for an Electric move. It's Stormy. This thing can do anything it wants. Bubble Beam? Well, I guess this is only round one. Yeah, if this was round two, it definitely would have had Surf. Oh no, my speed. Going for Giga Drain. Dude, you're so disgusting. To minimize. Shut up. Don't miss, please. Nice. Okay, one more. What a disgusting trainer. Th that's all they're doing is just minimizing. Well, I got four more Giga Drains, so I just need one of them to hit. Good, that's what you deserve. You're a disgusting person. Look, there's no way I lose this battle, right? Has this guy even damaged any of my Pokemon? Oh, it's my champ. I'm so scared. They literally haven't touched my team at all. Nice. That's what you get for goofing around the whole time and setting up double teams and stuff. Yep, don't worry guys, I prepared for this, so I went for Poison Powder. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, might not have been so smart because my accuracy is already not 100. Hey, I connected! The, dude, the Arceus Pokemon gods are looking out for me today. Wait, I could go for Sweet Scent. Which I know sounds dumb, but that would counteract, you know, their... What the heck? They're going for Curse. Um, well, I'm gonna do this. Wow, what a strange strategy that I'm using. Uh, now I'm gonna go for Giga Drain. Yeah, now I'm faster. Oh, double team. Oh boy, here we go. Well, I'm just gonna use Sweet Sun again. No, I missed. No, he's he's setting up a million double teams. You know what? Whatever. I'm going for Giga Dream. I've had enough of you. Don't miss. What would do? That was a 
Nice. That poison should take care of you in two turns, tops. Well, you went for curse. Dude, this whole... He lived with one health. His whole game plan is just... Just setting up. But he's not doing anything. I'll use my last Giga Drain. I was thinking of Headbutt, but I haven't missed any Giga Drains yet, so this is my lucky move. Well, my luck ran out. Oh, nice one. Yeah, just go for double team. See, this is why I went for Poison Powder. Can you imagine if I didn't poison this guy? We'd be sweating bullets right now. He's he's at times to attack and defense. Yeah, actually, funny enough, that Machamp might have been the most dangerous Pokemon because I did not expect it to know Curse. I mean, I forgot that all of his Pokemon would even know evasion moves, which is disgusting. Like, that's that's so horrible. Whose idea was this? I sneaked out of the lab for this. The chief's gonna chew me out again. Oh, so he's a regular at leaving work. He's not about uh, earning the bread. I have six continues. Insane. How did I lose in the Great Ball, man? I'm destroying people in the Master Ball. Oh, you look determined. Would you care to join me in a battle? Oh, there's Jolteon. And Vaporeon. I, I had to say something, right? <sighs> well, all things considered, this team isn't too scary. We, um... Oh, I'm definitely bringing Dawn Fan, without a doubt, because, uh, kills Jolteon, Magmar, Nidoqueen, it's good against Machamp, and good against Scizor, it's bad for Vaporeon, so I'm gonna need somebody for Vaporeon, so it's gonna be either Ampharos or Meganium, just like with the Golduck that one time, and Starmie, but who's better? Well, Meganium loses to Scizor and Magmar, and they're good against everyone else. Ampharos loses to Nidoqueen, goes kind of head-to-head -head with Jolteon. Um, see, the thing is, Meganium hasn't failed me yet. I'm gonna bring Meganium. But that Scizor could be a problem, so I'm thinking Rapidash... Dawnfan and, and Meganium. I don't think Aerodactyl's good here. Uh, I mean, it's good for the Magmar, but I don't really need that for this Pokemon. And then I could get hit by a Steel Wing or something from that Scizor, so yeah, we'll just... We'll leave Aerodactyl out of this one. They've done enough work. We couldn't have gotten a better start if we tried. I don't even know what this music is. They're going for a bite, they're gonna try and flinch me. Well, it did not work. Wait, maybe this is the gym leader theme from Gold and Silver. I mean, it sounds really weird, but I think this is the, the gym leader. Oh, it's Vaporeon, which means I'm getting out of here, and we're going to go to our counter, Meganium. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe this is the rival theme. Hydro Pump. Uh-oh, that's going to do a lot. Just kidding. That, that did nothing. Because Vaporeon has a million health, it's gonna get me all my health back with this Giga Drain. Oh, I'm faster too, this is great. This is awesome. I'm listening very closely. This has to be the rival theme. Yeah, that's the rival theme, without a doubt. <laughs> I haven't heard that theme in a long time. Is it bad that I think that uh, the original music 
and gold and silver is better than the remix. Okay, so I just defeated Jolteon and Vaporeon, who in Generation 1 were pretty good in Pokemon Stadium. And I have barely taken any damage. Wow. The way that Vaporeon fainted almost made me feel bad. I'm going on a rampage. Dude, I told you guys, the game's not that bad. Nidoqueen. Well, I was thinking of poisoning their last Pokemon, but I literally can't. But let's see how much Giga Drain does. Earthquake! That's your hardest hitting move. I feel sorry for you. Dude, Meganium is a monster in this. Oh, that did nothing. Well, I'm I'm about to be out of Giga Drains. That's Meganium's one weakness. I don't know, the longer this song goes on, I have no idea what we're listening to. But I swear this is the rival. This is Silver's theme. And that didn't accomplish much. Who's gonna win, Meganium or Nidoqueen? How much is this Earthquake doing? Um, uh, I think Meganium might actually win. Oh god. This is gonna be a very, very close one, because, uh... I think they're gonna live my next headbutt, but I think I can live maybe two more Earthquakes. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna come right down to the wire. Yep, I told you. Got four health, and I'm probably gonna live with, like, four health myself. Eleven, my bad. Meganium did way better than I thought it would. It lived with seven more health than I expected. The Meganium killed two Pokemon by themselves. Wow. The champion has been decided. I can't believe that went as smoothly as it did. I feel fortunate to have met someone like you. Traveling is good for me. Well, I'm glad to hear it. I don't know. That completes the challenge cup. Now I need to thank all my friends right here. I think I actually used all of them too. I think the one that was the least useful was this guy right here. And look at the champion right there, baby. Worst starter, get out of here. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay, that guy's actually the champion. <laughs> I mean, I did say when I first got my team, I was like, oh, this isn't too bad. You know, if I say it's not too bad, it's probably good. And if I say it's horrendous, it's probably slightly bad. That's kind of how that works. Well, then we're going to be taking on the Poke Cup in the very few the very near future so I need to get ready I'm gonna need to drink a lot of water I gotta stay hydrated gamers I was sweating bullets no not really I was actually pretty chill that whole entire run so thanks for watching like sub do everything that YouTube tells me to tell you so it makes me happy I guess goodbye